In today's class, we are going to see about genetics, father of genetics, the plant he chose for his research work and the reason for choosing that plant and the dihybrid cross and also about the monohybrid cross. So first we can see about the definition of genetics. So this genetics is the branch of biology that deals with the genes, genetic variation and heredity of living organism. So heredity means transfer of characters from one generation to the next generation that is heredity and variation means differences. What are the differences in that characters that is the variation and the father of genetics is Grieger Johann Mendel and he was an parish priest. He conducted his work for about 9 years in Paisam Sativa plant that is the pea plant. And the reason for choosing this plant is, these plants are self-pollinating. That is, the pollen grains are getting transferred in same flower or another flower, but it should be in the same plant. That is, self-pollination. Because of that, it was very easy to raise pure breeding individuals. And this plant has short lifespan. That is annual. Annual is uh, within a year this plant will germinate and it will grow into a plant and it will produce flowers. Then pots will come so that because of that the seeds will come and new plants will arise. Everything will happen in one year. That is annual. Because of that it was possible to follow several generations. And it was very easy for cross pollination. Then the flowers are bisexual. That is the androsium and gynosium will be present in the same flower and this plant have well defined contrasting characters. So we can see about contrasting characters of these plants. Contrasting characters means marubatta kunangal. That is contrasting characters. Here he selected seven contrasting characters in pea plant, in this plant. So the contrasting characters, first we can see about this here. First is the height. This is the character. And it was tall. Tall is dominant and short or dwarf. That is the recessive. And flower position. Flower position is the character. And the position which was dominant is axillary. Axillary is dominant. And the terminal which is present at the end. That is terminal. That is the recessive. And the character flower color. Color of that flower. So, if the flower color is purple or blue, that is the dominant color and white is the recessive color. Then, pod shape, that is the character, shape of that pod. If that pod is flat, flat shape, that is dominant, flat is like this. So, the, if it is like this, it was dominant and if it was constructed like this, if the shape was like this, it was recessive. And the color of the pod. So if the pot color is green, green color pot is dominant and yellow color is recessive. And seed shape, shape of that seed, seeds will be present inside the pod. So if the seed, seed color, seed shape is round, it is dominant and if the seed was ringed, it was recessive. And the color of the seed, if the color of that seed is yellow, it was dominant and if the seed color was green, it is Recessive. These are the seven contrasting characters that Mendel selected for his study. And if the cross that takes place in between only one character, that is that characters dominant and with the recessive. So here height, the for height the dominant is tall and its recessive is short or dwarf. So when this dominant tall was crossed with the recessive short that is known as the monohybrid cross because here only one character that is the height only was involved here that is why it is known as monohybrid cross and next is the dihybrid cross so if two characters are involved means if the seed shape that is round and seed color yellow so if round yellow yellow that is the dominant seeds was allowed to cross with the ringled green that is the recessive then it is known as dihybrid cross because here two characters are involved and if three characters are involved then it is known as trihybrid cross 
first we can see about mono hybrid cross in mono hybrid cross the parents of homozygous tall was crossed with homozygous dwarf so the gametes produced by this tall parents are with dominant allele capital t capital t and the gametes produced by the dwarf parents are with the recessive allele small t small t so when we are crossing these two parents so crossing means the pollen grains of the tall plant was transferred to the dwarf plants when we are crossing we will get f1 generation so if we plot this in panet square so panet square was devised by rc panet to calculate the possible genotype of offspring in a genetic cross so when we cross two parents we will get offspring so to find the genotype of that offspring this panet square is helping so when we are plotting this f1 generation and the panet square that is the dominant alleles from one parent on one side and the recessive alleles of another parent on another side we will get four offsprings and these are the offsprings and these four offsprings are of heterozygous tall form it is heterozygous due to the presence of the dominant and the recessive character that is the capital t and small t small t and due to the presence of this capital t on four offsprings it is heterozygous tall so this is f1 generation and when we are selfing this f1 generation that is when the heterozygous was crossed with heterozygous that is the gametes produced will be one with the dominant allele and the another one with the recessive allele and if we plot the f2 generation in this panet square that is one parent on one side and other parent on another side and it will be like this the result is one will be with homozygous tall that is capital t capital t that is homozygous tall and two will be of heterozygous tall that is capital t small t and again capital t small t that is heterozygous tall and the remaining one will be homozygous dwarf that is small t small t is homozygous dwarf and this is the result of f2 generation and when we see the phenotypic ratio phenotypic ratio means how the offsprings will looks like outside appearance so it will looks three offsprings will looks tall three offsprings are tall and one was dwarf so it is 3 is to 1 ratio that is phenotypic ratio is 3 is to 1 and genotypic ratio means how is the genetic makeup the hatris how the genes are arranged so here one was with homozygous tall that is capital t capital t that is homozygous tall and the two plants two offsprings are with heterozygous tall that is capital t small t capital t small t that is 1 is to 2 then 1 is with small t small t that is homozygous dwarf hence it is 1 is to 2 is to 1 ratio that is the genotypic ratio and this is the mon mendel's monohybrid cross next we can see about dihybrid cross so dihybrid cross is the inheritance or crossing of two pairs of contrasting characters or contrasting triads and the two contrasting characters what we are going to see here is the shape and color of the seeds the sh shapes are round and ringed and color of the seeds are yellow and green so the round yellow is the dominant character and ringed green is recessive so dominant means adhikam seluthugindra adhigamana adhikam ulla that is this round yellow that is dominant and recessive means pinnadaindirikindra kunam pinnadaivu that is recessive and here the recessive character is ringled green so here the round yellow is going to cross with ringled green and this round yellow its alleles are capital r capital r and capital y capital y alleles are the forms of genes so how we are representing that genes here that is the alleles and for the alleles of ringled green is small r small r and small y small y and the possible gametes what this round yellow can form is this capital r 
can combine with this y and this capital y so capital r capital y is formed here again this r can combine with this y and this capital y so again capital r capital y capital r capital y is formed so here four similar gametes that is capital r capital y four capital r capital y gametes are formed here and similarly for recessive character also four small r small y will form so when these gametes of the dominant character and the recessive character get crossed we will get f1 generation so here the dominant parents are here and the recessive parents are this side when they are getting crossed we get 16 offspring and these 16 offspring are similar that is they are heterozygous form heterozygous form is capital r capital y capital capital r small r capital y small y is there so that is in heterozygous form but all their characters are same that is it contains capital r capital y that is the dominant character hence all these 16 offspring shows round yellow which is the dominant character but they are in heterozygous form but the genes that is the genes are heterozygous form now here the f1 generation that is the heterozygous round yellow was going to cross by self pollination that is heterozygous round yellow was going to cross with heterozygous round yellow and it was with alleles capital r small r and capital y small y and what are the gametes that can be produced here that is this capital r can combine with this capital y and also with this small y so capital r capital y and capital r small y gametes are formed similarly this small r can also combine with this capital y and this small y so here small r capital y and small r small y thus we got four gamete similarly that parent also will produce four gamete and if we plot this f2 generation on the punnett square there is one parent on one side and another parent on another side we will get 16 offspring in that nine offsprings are round yellow so round yellow is dominant character both are dominant character so there should be at least one capital r and one capital y so you can see here the letters which are underlined by red marker represents the round yellow so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 offsprings are round yellow and three offsprings are ringled yellow so ringled yellow here ringled is recessive and yellow is dominant so for recessive means two small r should be there so the letters which are underlined by blue marker you can see there that is with ringled yellow 1 2 3 and three offsprings are with round green so for round green round is dominant and green is recessive so for round there should be at least one capital r and for green there should be two small y so here you can see the letters which are underlined by black marker 1 2 3 they represent round green and one offspring was with ringled green so ringled green here both ringled and green was recessive character so all the letters should be in small letter so here this small r y and that a small r y will combine to form small r small r small y small y so this is the result of f2 generation that mendel found in his dihybrid cross and here he got four types of offspring that is round yellow ringled yellow round green and ringled green in that round green and ringled yellow are new combination and finally mendel concluded that the factors are the genes so mendel used the word factor and now we are using the word gene so the factors are the genes of each character or the traits are independent to each other we are saying it as he mendel is saying as independent because this capital r that is this round can combine with this capital y or the small y this yellow or to this green so it was independent that is it was not depend on anyone that is it was independent to each other and through this gametes these are the gametes and through this gametes it was passed through this offspring that is 
to this gamete its character was passed to this offspring thus mendel concluded his dihybrid cross